All right, here we have the uh, Graveyard Keeper, the Last Journey Edition, being played on the Series X. Uh, Vehicle courtesy of Tiny Build, the publishers. Thank you guys very much for the opportunity. So here, uh, you play as somebody that got into a uh, uh, accident, actually was hit, who was hit by a car, um, and. Uh, He's coming to terms with the fact that he <laughs> he can't get home right now because he has to be a graveyard keeper to um, get back to his uh, his beloved. So uh, this plays similar, very similar in the vein of like um, uh, Stardew Valley or um, a Harvest Moon, uh, uh, Story of Seasons games like that. Um, but it's a bit, uh, I guess, goyer than that. <laughs> it's it's really kind of kind of messed up, honestly speaking. I mean, you you play as a graveyard keeper. You you bury bodies. You do autopsies. You you take their flesh and you sell your f the 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 flesh to the to to the village. Innkeeper that 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 serves it up to 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 villagers. It's 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 just <laughs> it is uh, it's kind of gruesome, honestly speaking. Um, and you have a talking skull that <laughs> that that ends up helping you out. It's 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 funny. It's fun. And it's just kind of disturbing all at the same time. So I'm going to dig up uh, dear old Jerry here. Holy sword, I'm a skull. Are you Jerry? Mm, why would you think I'm Jerry? A man in a red eye with a red eye told me that I need to dig you up. Oh, sorry, that's right. Jerry, how did you find me? The man told me that you told me that you'd answer all my questions. Good, good, but first let me ask you. Who are you and where the sard are we? I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. Hmm, you're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. I definitely remember that bell and a donkey. Something's very wrong with that animal. Hmm. <laughs> I think it'll be better if I wait for you here. I might scare the poor thing. <laughs> and here are your tasks with grabbing your first body, uh, performing your first autopsy, and burying the, the, the body. And here's the donkey I've talked to. I got a fresh corpse from the town. Wow, a talking donkey. You can understand me? Let's talk. Who are you? I'm cheap labor. This card isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. And I only earn five carats a day. The situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? The bastard pretends that he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anything. Uh, anyway, I need to get back to the town. You get rid of this one, and I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. Here comes Jerry. Hey, what are you staring at? Grab that juicy corpse while it's still fresh. What for? I feel we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember why exactly. But I'm pretty sure it'll be fun. It might be profitable. Oh, I'm going to puke. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, so so your per character does not want to do any of this. Um, he just is kind of thrown into it. He's like, I don't want this, but I have to. So I mean, this game's pretty, pretty funny, but again, at the same time, a little bit disturbing. Sorry, I like this place. Feels like home. Put the body on the autopsy table. Then, hmm, what's next? Oh, yes. Slice some flesh from the corpse. That should be good for starters. What? No way. This isn't right. Sure, sure, it's not right. How can I forget? Maybe because I'm talking to talking school with Venetia. Is it right that you don't know where you... <laughs> is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing is right here. 
So shut the sard up and do what I tell you. Promise you'll tell me how to get home? You just need to trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. Talking skulls never lie. And then bring me, bring the beer to me. So I'm going to extract the flesh. Yeah, see, you, you can create burgers and sandwiches, and you can bake the flesh. That's disgusting. You'll get used to it. So, what should I do with the corpse? I don't know. Let's bury it. Hit the corpse. I'll wait for you at the graveyard. Take the body. Um, but this game does have, like, um... It does have all. It does include all of the uh, of the DLC if you do purchase this this version of the game, Last Journey Edition. So that's kind of cool. It's got everything one in one package. Okay, I'm gonna. All right, so I'm just gonna tell you that you need to create a grave. We're gonna. Dig the grave up. We're gonna put the body in it. And we're gonna cover it up. Nicely done. Hmm. This burial certificate. I remember money, alcohol. Alcohol. Hmm. I sure used to like it a lot. Oh, sorry. Here comes the bishop. He's your boss. Oh, oh, I know. Ask him about the burial certificate. He should know something. I better leave now. I'll be in the morgue waiting for my beer. Dear me, I'm so tired. Why? Why do I have to come here every week? But, um, but yeah, so, so in addition to performing autopsies, you have to take care of the graves. You have to work to be, so you're a graveyard keeper that works with a cleric that eventually gets to, to, to go home. Um, and this is, this is the extent of this game. It's amazing. It's an amazing game. It's a fun graveyard keeper sim. And again, Lester in Edition includes all of the DLC. You're going to get a ton of DLC, a great game, for a, for a good price. And um, they'll do it here. I want to thank Teddy Bill for the opportunity. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.